now envision you've been out all day planting your vegetable garden and you go in and go to bed that night. You get up the next day and you're really excited about going out and seeing all your hard work. You get out there, some of your plants are missing, parts of your plants have been nibbled off, you immediately know what's happened. What, what has happened? You've got a rabbit in the garden. Maybe you've tried to deal with this with the old plastic owl trick. And while that works because owls are predatory birds and they do feed on rabbits, it won't work if the owl remains in the same spot all the time. So you have to go out and you have to move the owl around to keep the rabbits guessing where that owl is going to be. Maybe you've tried the mylar tape. You know the kind that I'm talking about that's red on one side, silver on the other, and when the wind blows, it causes it to rotate and it looks like fire to animals. And that does have some um, amount of success as far as rabbit. It really works for deer but it will keep rabbits away for a while. Maybe you've tried different scents that you've read about that rabbits don't like, like human hair as an example, or putting uh, cat feces around, not in your garden, but around your garden because cats do prey on rabbits. And again, that will work for a while. But the problem with that though is the scent only lasts a certain amount of time. So you're having to add additional hair you're having to add additional feces, etc., to keep the rabbits out of your garden space. As a last resort, maybe you've put a fence around your garden. And yes, that has worked for a while, but in notoriously, there's an opening big enough that a rabbit can fit through. So what do you do? How do you keep rabbits out of your garden? Well, an easy solution is to make the round and comfortable for the rabbit. If it hurts their feet, they're not gonna come back. And an easy way of doing that is with holly branches. Now, if I'm sure you have a neighbor or maybe you even have hollies, you're simply just gonna cut these branches and you don't want to lay it flat like this. You wanna make sure that you're maximizing the little spikes on the leaf as much as possible. So lay it, it down so that the uh, front of the leaf is on the ground. Now, this is just for demonstration purposes only. So you would actually put around your tomato plants, as an example, or peppers or your bed lettuce. You're gonna put these holly branches around that. When the rabbits come into the garden space, they're gonna hop on this and they're gonna get poked in the bottom of the foot by these little spikes on the leaves. The best part of this approach is you don't have to keep replacing these. These uh, branches will last a season. So uh, while it's a short-term solution, it's a garden season solution to rabbits in your garden. So give this technique a try if you find little nibbling holes or your plants are completely gone out of your garden space. So until we meet in the garden again,